This is Matthew Miller from the ZDNet Smartphones and Cell Phones and Mobile Gadgeteer blogs. I have in my hand the T-Mobile G1 Google Android device and when I was out there in New York at the launch event we learned that there was only video support through YouTube and let me just show you that YouTube application and let me go ahead and uh, just quickly go into portrait mode I'm just going to pick a default video that's shown there we can show you uh, that plane on the device here Turn the volume down. This is the uh, the YouTube player on the G1. I am connected to Wi-Fi at home here, so you can see it's a fluid play. Let me go ahead and stop that. Now, let's go ahead and uh, go back to the home screen here. Let me show you something that I found. There's not very many applications in the uh, Android market at this moment. Let me just show you. Uh, there's games. Let me go back to the applications that are in here. Uh, let's see if it might be under filed under multimedia. So what you can see here is there's one called the video player. If we tap on that, you see I give it a high rating because as you'll see in a minute, it is well, it does, plays well. Supported file formats are MPEG-4 and 3GPP. The H H.263 and 264 video codecs are supported with H.264 being preferred and there's a couple of comments there so I've got it installed and what I did was I took uh, I took my die another day video that I had previously put on my Nokia E71 and uh, in MPEG-4 format as you can see it appears on my list it's currently stored on the micro SD card if I tap that Complete the action using movies or video player. Uh, I tried both. It's the same thing. Even though it's interesting to see that this is movies with the icon showing of the uh, music player. So obviously the support is there. just didn't have the application at launch. So if I go ahead and tap video player. And the movie will start. Now I can also switch it in. And by rotating it, the accelerometer picks up. I went into this actually plays in a bigger format and looks nicer than on my E71, which I showed in the video before. Turn the volume up just a bit so you can hear it. So I was pretty pleased to see a video player on the device already because now I can load up uh, an 8 gig micro SD with uh, quite a few videos as I travel and uh, have a great viewing experience. This is uh, really nice actually. plan on loading up a few more movies that I have, ones that I own, load them up and take them on uh, my next trip. As you can see video playback is quite smooth, no pixelation really visible. If I just tap on the screen, you can control it. Let's see if I hold down, if it, I can actually grab the bar and move the movie forward. Pause the movie. And that's video on the T-Mobile G1.